What a night. What a way to start round two. The Penticton Herald highlights V's Vipers round two, the interior division semifinal. But uh, early on, Vipers came out swinging. Owen Kim scoring 63 seconds into the game to make it one nothing. Vernon. Fraser Rogers, Tim Hogg on the highlights here. And Tim, great start for the visitors. Yeah, and just a bit of a defensive breakdown for the V's right off the bat. And no doubt about it, Owen Kim with his fifth of the playoffs. That made it one nothing. Vernon. And Selmo Rego had a historic, memorable night for himself and the first to two on the night. This made it a 1-1 game, six minutes into the first period and some great just poise with the puck as he does a lap of the zone and roofs it short side on Ethan David. Yeah, even going back to the last couple of weeks of the regular season, Anselmo Rego really kind of the engine that drives the bus for the V's in a lot of ways. Uh, just that energizer bunny that you need on your team and he uh, opens the scoring for the V's on this night. Yeah, that was a great little play by him. Nice two-on-one here, Adam Chubby setting up Carson McGinley going forehand backhand past Will Ingman just a minute and a half after the V's tied it so that made it 2-1 Vernon near identical goal to we saw earlier that made it one nothing then go to the second period Vernon late goes up 3-1 that off the stick of Noah Dory, just under five minutes left in the second. The visitors up big, 3-1 in game one, late second period. Yeah, and just another blown assignment there in the D zone, unfortunately. Uh, for the Vs, they were missing defenseman Daniel Bookbinder tonight, and that was a big loss for them, but uh, they were able to to kind of weather it a little bit and make a comeback late in the game here. Maybe the old turning point was this power play goal late in the second, the stuffed job by Billy Renfrew with just... A buck 30 left in the second at the goal line, fakes the pass, stuffs it in, five hole on David. That made a 3-2 game late in the second. It seemed like that was a big weight off the V's shoulders there. Yeah, we kind of talked on the broadcast at the time that it was kind of a must score uh, on that power play late stage of second period, and they were able to get it done. Third period was real tight checking up until late. Cal Arnott just coming down the wing as the goalie was trying to leave the ice for the extra attacker. Banks in off Ethan David's leg in the five hole. And all of a sudden it's a 3-3 tie. That with just two minutes to go. And the V's tied to force overtime. V's were shorthanded in overtime. And Selmo Rego, what a play, Tim, to win it. Just 140 into overtime, scoring a second of the night, shorthanded, V's win 4-3. You don't find too many goals prettier than this one. He's just able to drag it around this brawling defenseman and go roof uh, over Ethan David, who did have a very good night in the crease for the Vernon Vipers. Uh, just they come up one shot short here as Rego able to drag and fire. That was a beauty goal. What a night for the Brampton, Ontario product. As we'll never get tired of watching the toe drag around Noah Dory, the roof over the glove of Ethan David and the walk-off win shorthanded V's four Vernon three the highlights brought to you by the Penticton Herald.